Hey everybody and welcome to my newest video. Today is 5 November 2018 and I'm sitting here in my garden and I want to speak uh, about uh, the sweat lodge, the ceremony of the sweat lodge. And if you are about to go uh, to a sweat lodge ceremony, I will tell you what will happen there and uh, what was my experience uh, uh, in my first uh, sweat lodge, lodge ceremony. So you have uh, a lots of different um, sweat lodge uh, ceremonies. Uh, one one name is, for example, Inipi, because it's uh, an Indian sweat lodge uh, ceremony. And Inipi is um, uh, the name, the house of the bread is called. So um, it, another name is, for example, the Lakota lodge, because it's uh, from the Lakota Indians who created the sweat lodge and uh, they used it for cleansing of their bodies but also cleansing of their soul and that is why uh, we use it here in Europe also so to, to make a kind of transformation and to, to regain the connection to Mother Earth so it's really a wonderful ceremony if you like the uh, shamanic traditions I, I did a lot of uh, ayahuasca ceremonies and uh, the sweat lodge is it was I was on my list and now I had uh, my first experience with that so the the sweat lodge is built with uh, willow um, willow tree uh, branches uh, it's it's 16 branches and they all have a different meaning so it's a very special it's like a beehive it looks like or, or iglo and um, they put woolen blankets on top of that and in the middle of the, the lodge there is a, a large hole and they put uh, warm stones inside so um, and then they will put water on top of that so you will get a lot of steam and you will go uh, on sweating so my first experience was in Germany because I live very close to Germany and uh, it was uh, exciting for me because I didn't have a lot of information before, so it was a, a blank, uh, um, a blank, yeah. <laughs> I just had an experience and I, 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 I went inside Blanco, so I didn't want to be to have any prejudice, and uh, so, so it was a really nice experience for me. They do, for example, four rounds with stones. So you enter the lodge when, when the fire uh, is, is warm and the stones are warm. You go with a group inside and you sit around the stones. And there's one leader, one uh, like a medicine woman or, or man, who will put water on the stones. And uh, every person inside can, can say, for example, their prayers or their affirmations. Uh, their wishes that they want to come true or their, their, their spiritual growth, that, what, the, what they want to gain. And you can see the stones as your ancestors. So Indians believe that everything has a soul. And I like that vision, like a uh, tree and water, rivers, everything has a, has a soul. So even the grass. And uh, they treat the stones and the elements like uh, spirits. And, and uh, from that experience you can gain more information and uh, guidance. So that is what is happening inside. So when the stones are entering, um, they will put water on that and there will become a lot of steam inside of the, 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 the lodge. And it's, it's totally dark inside, so it's like a, a uterus, like a womb of, of, a, of the earth. And that is... Uh, amazing experience so because it's dark you can go more inside and that that makes it more comfortable to uh, do a meditation or to go deeper so that is uh, I don't know in, in uh, a lot of ceremonies you can go outside because it's for four sessions but in some ceremonies they keep you inside but they just uh, open the door a little to get fresh air inside and then they close up again when the new stones arrive so but it's it's most of the time four sessions like all wind, uh, wind directions, uh, north, uh, east, south, west, and they have different intentions uh, what, they, what they make. So um, in the middle, the stones are uh, basalt stones because they are volcanic and they can't explode. That's very good because they are really warm uh, and they use the volcanic stones uh, to be more safe and uh, because they have more earth-like uh, 
minerals inside. So that's what they're using. In the Lakota uh, lodge, they use uh, Lakota songs. It's like healing songs and it's it sounds of the earth. So you have one person who is playing drums in, in some ceremonies or they just sing sings Lakota songs to reconnect you back to the earth. And um, you can sing along, you can listen, or you can just try to, to, to listen to the vibrations and to to try try to sing along because it's uh, it's very good to, to reconnect and to go inside. Uh, let me think. Yes, everything goes in Indian time when you do a, a, a sweat lodge session. That means it's timeless. So you don't know if you're one hour inside or half an hour inside and it doesn't matter because that is the experience what you have. You are in the womb of the earth and the, the stones are the ancestors and you, you just have to let go of time. That is actually what, what, uh, what Indian time means. Um, but what, what I experience when I, when I, I read about it, uh, they also have um, women who are in the menstrual cycles, they can't uh, join the, the sessions. It's because they're already uh, cleansing themselves when they have uh, um, menstrual cycles. And they call it in, in uh, Indian language, it's uh, a moon, moon time. So when a woman is in moon time, they can't do a sweat lodge. But there are also ceremonies in some uh, areas where they do special sweat lodge for women who are in their moon cycles. Because the women in that period, oh, the cat is, the cat is again coming. In my Dutch video is also, is also here. Hey, Chewy. So, <laughs> he disturbing my video. <laughs> no. Chewy. <laughs> So, uh, moon time, there are also special ceremonies what you can do when you have your cycle because you're already very strong, um, then it's very nice to do a, a ceremony for yourself. So it's possible, so don't feel rejected if they tell if you have cycle you can't join. It's for a reason, because you're too much powerful then and it can disturb the spirits. <laughs> That's what they told me. So. Um, let me think the steam what is coming from the stones is called the breath of the spirit so if the steam is coming just keep breathing it very deeply because that is the breath of the spirits and uh, you you will uh, get your connection even better uh, i think i had it all yes you have um before the stones come inside, there's a fire ceremony. So at some places you can join the fire ceremony. The stones get uh, uh, get a blessing from the sky and a blessing from the earth, and then they will put be put in the fire. And that is all before. So that is also really nice to do that with a group, like a fire ceremony, and you sit uh, around the fire and you honor the stones. And um, in the in the uh, lodge uh, itself there's a, a medicine woman and a water uh, a water bearer so somebody who throws the water on the uh, on the stones and in some sessions they use herbs and they they sprinkle it uh, above the stones and it looks very nice it looks like stars when they uh, when you watch the stones and it's really dark and they put the herbs on it then it looks like really stars what's coming uh, from from the fire uh, from the from the warm stones uh, let me think what I wanted to tell. Uh, yes. They also do like a ceremony before we go into the tent. They make like uh, like strings with, uh, with cloths, like uh, white, red, blue, black. And you can choose and you will put uh, a tobacco inside with um, your affirmations and you will knot it on a, on a rope. And that rope will be hanged in the tent above you. So when you're in the tent and the tent is when, when there's a little bit light, you can see your wishes, your affirmations, you can see in front of you or hanging above you. And that is your intentions for the whole ceremony, for the four, uh, for the four ceremonies that are coming. The ceremonies are uh, up, up, up. North, East, South, West, I told. So that is uh, four times, it's for the wind uh, uh, directions. And um, let me think what I wanted to tell, the Lakota songs I told, Indian time, moon time. Yes, actually 
the Inipi, so the, the, the Lakota Lodge, will bring you back to your essence, to yourself, uh, reconnects you to earth and reconnects you to the animals, uh, so you can um, do a good, great transformation for yourself. So my experience was very good. I had, uh, even afterwards, I had a lot of insight. I was a little nauseous when I came outside because it's warm and um, it's, uh, there's happening a lot inside. You're, you're doing a cleansing program. So uh, after that, um, the close up is that you have a meal together with the, the people who are there. Everybody brings a meal, like a soup or a salad. And the close up is that you have a meal together. And uh, that is also very nice to, to close the day and the, and the ceremony. So if you need any more information, look it up on the, on the internet. There's a lot, of, lot to find about the Lakota Hut uh, Lodge or the Inipi. And uh, I would suggest also look into the, the native songs a little bit to watch some Lakota songs before you uh, go. It's nice that you could sing along one or, one or two songs because it's, it's more transforming for my vision. But uh, the rest, I would, if you go unprepared, it's also very good. So have a nice time, enjoy your time in the, the ceremony and uh, see you in my next video. Bye.